Um, so we are on. Uh, we are the Mighty Misfit Menagerie, and this is going to be our first uh, stream. So, mm. yeah, let's jump in. Uh, so we are in the city of Osrin in a uh, adventuring guild called Steel Cry. Uh, with this guild, it's on the outskirts of the town, and these guilds are, are more like city states to these cities uh, than actually entities inside of the city. Uh, we have our group of adventurers here, uh, and we'll start in the morning. So as the uh, sun crests over the, the hill crest mountains um, at a whopping 5 a.m., what do you do? Uh, well, normally I tend to wake up right at sunrise as soon as there's a little bit of light in the room. I've been ready to go. Um, so I would be heading downstairs to start the coffee in case anybody else wakes up sooner than I expected. Um, and then I'd probably start studying. What do you study? Well, uh, being a wizard, there's a lot to look through. Okay. Being a gnome, I've always been an avid reader. All right. Um, is he the first one up? So we're at five in the morning. Oh, yeah, he always gets up before me because okay. he knows I'm useless without coffee anymore. Yeah. I've been awake all night. I've been awake already. Like, I slept, but I've already, I'm already awake okay. now. Okay. I probably woke up around like 6, 7, begrudgingly went to help make breakfast. Okay, so we're still at 5. So you go down and make the coffee. Coffee, yes. uh, pot of coffee is ready. Where are you going? Uh, I think the next thing I would do was go upstairs to make sure that Rook is ready to begin making breakfast because they're okay. going to kick us out if we stop doing that. All right, you go uh, upstairs, you knock on the door. Uh, come in, Gibble. <laughs> Spen was going to be up in the next five minutes. You know how time works. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I kind of put my hand on my dented helmet and then I come on down, uh, give a wave to the cook and just kind of dig into it. I have his mug ready and reach above to set it up on the counter. Uh, have you seen Dream? Um, I don't believe she's out of her room yet, but I've heard her walking around. So I just get ready with breakfast, get as much of that to where a stopping point is. Okay. Um, as you're going through breakfast, are you helping uh, create breakfast with uh, with the cook? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, cool. Like I do every morning. Yeah, okay. Uh, what are you guys making this morning? Uh, I think we're just going to go with, you know, just toast, eggs, meat. Okay. We've got adventurers to feed. Lots of protein. Uh, the, uh, we have uh, some meat that's going bad. we got to serve it out. Uh, maybe we'll serve it at some of those other tables we don't like very much. Yeah, yeah. give it to yeah. the A teams. Yeah, give it to the A teams. Those guys. <laughs> uh, where are you taking your breakfast today? Uh, the oldest meat. Make sure it gets to Muzo. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Oh, he's a dragon. He might like that. Yeah. Actually. No, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we got to get rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as you guys uh, are starting to prepare uh, for breakfast, um, what are you doing at this point? Um, now that the house is kind of in full swing, I'd go upstairs and check on the kids. All right. Who do you check on first? Dream Wraith, because I know she's awake. Okay. I'm already at the door as soon as you knock, so I open it after you're knocking. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Breakfast has already started. Excellent. Do you need any help? Um, no, unless you want to go wake up Bishop. I'd rather go visit Little Dream's orphanage first, if that's okay. All right, whatever you need to do. So I walk out. I've got a bundle of clothing and bedding, and I head toward downstairs to out to the, off okay. the orphanage. <laughs> no breakfast for Dream? I'll come back and okay. eat with got everybody. It. I usually have a bagel ready for her anyway, like some bread-related. Yeah. Do they have bagels in medieval? Yeah, they got, they got <laughs> Yeah. All right, so as you uh, interact with Dream, she, she kind of shuffles out of the, the doorway and out of the uh, tavern himself. Uh, who are you going to next? I just thought of this, and apologies to everyone at home. So uh, Rook is about like six foot seven, you know, powerful build, uh, wears a bowler hat and uh, a pair of gauntlets all the time. He's human. Uh, just picture Rio. Yeah, except like bigger and with more muscles. Yes. <laughs> same, same bowler hat. Same yeah. bowler hat. Yeah. Dusty bowler. Dream, do you want to... 
Uh, Dream is about 5'1". She's got long red hair. It's always really messy, like bedhead looking hair. Um, simple features, simple clothes, simple lady. Uh, Gimbal's about 3'3". Three, three. Uh, he is a uh, rock gnome who came from a family of scribes, so he's always been very well dressed because you got to be presentable to sell those scrolls. Uh, about 55 pounds, kind of on the light side. Uh, always has a book in hand. Um, Dash is a wood elf, uh, about 5'9", black hair, short, um, pretty lithe, nothing too outlandish, just kind of normal. Bishop, about 5'7", tiefling, like a very light skin, not quite albino, but with a good tinge of blue. Fairly skinny, he doesn't have much of a tail, and you usually keep it kind of wound up and tucked inside of either his pants or something, so you don't usually see it because it's kind of small. Even though we've talked about tail shame. Yes, we have. It's, it's, it's a real thing. It's not the size that matters. It's, it's how prehensile it is. <laughs> but yeah. and his horns are not really too long because he usually tries to keep them short. Doesn't like them sticking out of his somewhat curly hair. All right. So as you are roused for the day, uh, Dash, what are you doing? Uh, I'm probably up in my room, um, just meditating, stretching, maybe practicing with my rapier a little bit, but okay. just keep it myself. You know, sitting down, practicing a few different. Cantrips is trying to keep control of the sorcery ability. Okay. Every once in a while. All right. Yeah. So uh, time stretches on, and it becomes breakfast. You guys coming down to? Uh, I would imagine you come back to to the guild at that point, right? Um, you guys all sit down. Uh, you see all the guild members and Uzo and Sven um, up at the the top table at the head. Um, just kind of going through eating breakfast. Um, any interactions you guys are doing? Uh, I'm gonna grab uh, the special plate that I make every morning as a stuck-up plate and go see Sven. Okay. In his office. Okay. Uh, yeah. So as you kind of uh, pick up that plate, you head towards it. You give Sven the eye. He he kind of comes and follows. I you catch push him for the moment. I was like, go back up and do your hair right. <sighs> every time. Every time. You're presenting us. Representing. You're not the one that wants to presenting. Do the test anyway. Representing. <laughs> You're representing us, so go do your hair. <laughs> I go up just quick look. Kids. Kids. Ah, uh, Rook, how you been? I'm all right. There you go. Oh, thanks. Sam with capers? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> what can I do you for? Uh, I just thought we would sit and chit chat. It's yeah. been a while, old friend. After all that nonsense the other day, I figured it might be uh, yeah. nice to. Uh, yeah, have breakfast clear together. the air a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Sorry about that, uh, Muzo. You know he's on my ass all the time about uh, these uh, inquisitions. So it's okay. I assume anyone with a stick that big, yeah, uh, up, up his ass, really yeah, needs would really do. Yeah, you got it. Uh, <laughs> any more thought into uh, letting the two kids do the trials? Absolutely not. We already discussed okay. that. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I literally d- st- almost killed Dash. <laughs> I was so upset about that, so let's just not talk about it anymore. Mm. <laughs> uh, Sven is a seven-foot-tall uh, lion-formed. Uh, so just think of like a, a were lion. Uh, it's, his name is a he's a tabaxi. Uh, he's actually a full-maned lion standing upright, a huge form. Uh, well, I got an announcement this morning. I guess that you might not like. So stick around for that. I just made you salmon with capers, Sven. And I appreciate it. It tastes delicious. You know how how hard it is to keep salmon fresh in the what you call an ice box? <laughs> <laughs> I imagine not too hard for someone like you. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, uh, how's everything else going? Uh, how you like that new uh, new guy, Dash? How do you take He's fine. Yeah. He's, mm-hmm. he's, he's pretty good. Yeah. Rapier, he's really good yeah. with it. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I'm gonna eat my food now. I don't know if you wanna help Hang on, let the me, rest, rest let me of add breakfast. something to it that I forgot. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rook gets up and angrily walks towards the garden. Through, the <laughs> I'm gonna walk the garden. 
<laughs> Already in the garden. <laughs> Hang out the window. God. What happened? Already. I have a feeling it has something to do with you. So I'm going to go walk the garden. <laughs> and Brooke just ra- walks out and walks okay. the garden. What's what's everyone I, else doing? I come up as I see him walking away. and I, What did you do to him already that he's walking in the garden? I don't know. He told me to do my hair. I did my hair. <laughs> and he stormed out the door. Follow him or just let him go. I give him a dance to cool off. Yeah. When he does this before the end of breakfast, it's usually best to just stay back. Yeah. There. The village seemed to wake as normal today, so that was good to observe. I saw several men still drunk from last night. Is that normal? Always. Yes. <laughs> Only on days that end in Y. But There's God. They all end in Y. <laughs> 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 uh, all right. Just Rook. Continue. Rook. Yeah. Go ahead. Morning routine of going through Muzo's trash and finding the pamphlet that he gives him every single day. Um, it's a little bit must today, so he throws it out and gets a new one. Uh, it's a pamphlet that's titled Gimbal's Guide to Organization. Um, <laughs> so I will. You dust it off. You yes. Kind of rub it on the those, table yeah. to make it nice and flat. Um, and then I will leave it on Muzo's desk with a note that says. Uh, with much love and admiration, I'm sure that this will help you someday. <laughs> All right. He's still at breakfast, but I'm sure you'll see it when he gets out. And you'll definitely read it this time. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Rook, Rook spends Rook a good Rook. 10 minutes yelling at the squirrels to eat the nuts on the trees, not the food from the bird feeders. <laughs> they have food. It's in nature. The <laughs> birds can't eat acorns. <laughs> you see a few of them kind of come up your arm and on your shoulder as you're yelling at them. Um, they really like this display. It kind of happens more often nowadays. Yeah. Get used to it. Yeah. I resist the urge to toss one of the squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you guys... So, what, Dash, what are you doing, bud? Um... I probably go find Dream Wraith wherever she's sitting and just sit and eat breakfast. Okay. I will go up to S- to Sven actually and be like, "When's uh the trial going again?" Uh yeah. So the trial uh it's in about a few weeks. I, I think like three weeks or so. Uh, well, I'll talk about it more in the meeting right after mm-hmm. breakfast. Right. Yeah. So let me know if there's any jobs. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. yeah. Uh, we'll see. There's not very many D-rate jobs, uh, but yeah, you'll get the first one that comes. Right. Thanks. Yeah. Just sit and enjoy breakfast. Cool. As you guys are going through breakfast, are you coming back or are you staying out? I come back in and squirrels. angrily eat oatmeal. Okay. As you all sit there in very awkward silence uh, for the next half an hour or so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Gimbal's still just kind of chipper and reading yeah. and sipping his coffee and enjoying his morning. He's just he's used to it now. Yeah. <laughs> um, you see Sven uh, stand up uh, out of his seat and kind of project his voice. All right, down to business now. Uh, so as everyone knows, we have a uh, we have an inquisitor coming in a few weeks, and uh, he thought it prudent that we do the trials uh, same time. So the uh, judges for the trials are going to be myself. Muzo and whatever Inquisitor the Ministry decides to send. Uh, Why is the Ministry interested in our advancement exam? Uh, It's just a regular audit. They do them uh, regularly around town, so this is just one that they're... No, I get that, but why do we have to have it at the same time? I don't know. Why are you busting my balls this morning? Uh, I don't know, because you told me you're about to give me bad news, and yeah. the squirrels keep eating all the birds. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing I can do about the squirrels, Rook. I'm just saying. Many times. I'm just saying. If we get a druid down here, any, we can awaken the anyway, squirrels, anyway, and then they right. have to follow the rules. So, per my notes, he busts your balls every day. Yeah, he does. That's moves, very true. I kind of back away from Rook a little bit, like towards a corner okay. somewhere where he's not gonna see me. Uh, all right. So, list of names who are going through the trials. We have Rook, Gimbal, Bruno, Nadal, Shamir, Zima, Bishop. What? <laughs> Venerius. No, 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 no. Back up. Bishop is a child. End dream. Sven, can I see you in your office, please? Nah, I'm, I'm busy right now. Sven. Maybe later. It'll just be a little bit longer. Just let him finish the announcements. It's fine. Rook flips his table and runs back to the garden. (laughs) (laughs) 
Uh, Gimbal gets up and tries to turn it back. Turn it back. I, 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 I go over oh, and help him. Help. All right. Uh, sorry about that outburst, everybody. So uh, contracts will be given out after the meeting for Muzo. Uh, see him for any questions. And he kind of gets down off of his seat and goes back into his office. I'll go up to Muzo and be like, uh, it's probably best that you don't deal with Rook right now. You know yes. how he is. He seems to be in one of his moods. Uh, you see uh, Muzo is a, a short, maybe four and a half foot dragonborn, um, uh, kind of wiry figure, uh, always hunching over. Is there anything that we can take? Uh, I'll, I'll get to you later. The D contracts come later. That's uh, true. I'm going to go to the S contracts first. It might go faster if you have them organized efficiently. Yes, uh, do you have another pamphlet for me? Oh my gosh, of course I do! Okay. He pulls out an extra one aside from the one that he put on his desk from his little pouch and gives it to him. Thank you, I'll put this, uh, where the other one was. Just a moment. Pulls out a thank you card, writes his name on it, and hands that over as thank, well. Thank you so much for this. Um, he turns around and throws it in the trash right in front of you. That's what I'm saying. That is not a good filing station no. for anything that's important. It's not. Go go find your friend. Go make yourself just useful. Filing method. Just oh. Don't judge the people on their filing methods. You see the other uh, members of the guild start lining up outside of Muzo's office to go in. Are you going after Rook? Mm-hmm. I'm a little sleep. But he's angry at him. Yeah, I'm staying inside. You knew this day was going to come eventually. No, I didn't. My oldest friend at the guild that I've dedicated my life to ensured me that my children would not be on the list, so Dream and Bishop should not be taking the advancement route. They are... Bishop is a child, Dream is an adult, but we both know that she's just as likely to... I don't know, to, uh, turn someone into a bandicoot as she is to do anything else. And I've been punching this tree, so now I have to replant a tree... And that's why she's dangerous and useful. Gimbal, mm-hmm. we've been friends for a long time now. Yes, we have. Yeah. You've been a good second influence on Bishop and Dream Wraith. Please don't make me kick you halfway across this guild hall. Okay. Rook, we both know they're ready. Is there any contracts that the good enoughs can take? Muzo's left me off again, but I'm thinking if we just wait a little, I don't think anything's going to pay. Well, guild dues aren't going to pay themselves, and our last job didn't pay, so... I think I'm going to go into town. Keep an ear out for the good enoughs. Sure. All right. Um, are you guys going... Where, what's everyone else doing at this moment? Which... Dream, what are you doing? I'm observing public behavior until mm-hmm. it is time for my magic practice. Okay. That. I'd probably attempt to follow Rook, but like stay hidden. Okay. Make a stealth roll. Twenty-four. <laughs> <laughs> If I get a nat well, 20, I might be able to. Yeah. Nope. No. Sorry. <laughs> um, you are just so caught up in anger that you don't notice anything around you. And you're going straight to um, the Lost Key Inn. Uh, you have your contact there who usually gives you some jobs kind of under the table uh, yeah. to get some kind of money. Um, so, yeah, you guys are following him. You're following him into town. Uh, what are you doing? I was going to probably just sit in the line, actually, before I get to Muzo or talk to Muzo, but in the whole time we should be messing with the presentation and um, thaumaturgy practicing, like well, seeing what's different between them since now I have the ability to do both. Okay. Um, make a percentile die roll. Five. Five. <laughs> um, <laughs> as you're transitioning from prestidigitation to thaumatology, it's, it's your the fire around you is slowly building and building and building um, until it kind of erupts and uh, licks the wall and kind of sets it on fire. It's I've got go a prestidigitation. Yeah. Back out real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sweep in and I'll sweep in and help with that. Okay. <laughs> um, we talked about this kind of practice inside. I am inside. No. Outside. Oh, that's right. My bad. I 
figured the ring wouldn't cause this. Don't lose your place in line. I have it. They all move further away. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So you guys are you staying in line with him mm-hmm. to get contract? Yeah. Um. Uh, so after about thirty minutes or so. Um, you are uh, ushered in to Muzo's office. He's sitting behind a desk with a stack of uh, contracts. Ah, yes, the good enoughs. Uh, I do have a, a D-ranked contract for you. He kind of opens up his drawer and pulls it out and gives it to you. Uh, it pays five gold. Well, that's five gold more than last time. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I hope you're happy with it. And... Uh, by the way, you are the lowest uh, ranked team in the guild. Only D rank. Um, and if potentially uh, there is some fat to be trimmed when the Inquisitor comes, um, just food for thought. That's what the trials for. We'll be fine. Yes, that's you know what the though? trials for. It will see what you're made of. Mostly flesh and bone. Yes. Get Most out. people are made. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> we follow along. Unless he got it. He said no contracts? Uh, yeah, he gave you guys a contract. I make a mental note uh, to pick up an anatomy book from my parents' shop to leave Muzo. <laughs> um, awesome, yeah. Do you look at the contract? Mm-hmm. Um, so it's a contract for uh, a farmer in Bulmar. Um, it's going to be a town about two days uh, travel from here by foot. Um, it, they've been having problems with wolves in, in his crops. So for whatever reason, the wolves have been disturbing his like corn crops and stuff like that. So um, your job is to go out there um, as uh, sentinels to kind of stop the wolves from, from messing anything up. All right. Well, at least it's a nice, easy one. We'll get to see some of the country. Let's check the flower shop first, though. See if they got something a bit more interesting. Let's wait until Rook gets back and we can go together. I don't think they like me there very much. Uh, as long as I'm there, I should be able to help out with them. I mean, if you really think we should, at least get Dream. Probably not, actually. No, he's, he'd be furious. Especially after the test. Mm, I'm taking the test. I don't disagree. I think you're ready, but I think maybe we should walk on eggshells for a little bit. You keep calling me a kid, though. I mean, I'm... St- it's not 18. 17 is close enough. Mm. We'll get there. Just two weeks. Two more weeks. Two more weeks until your birthday? Um, <laughs> all right, so transitioning. Oh, in that stream. Well, as you guys were turning around to find Rook, I was standing right behind you. Oh! <laughs> You're, hello. Welcome back. Did you get a contract? Yes, and this one pays gold. That is good news. Let us go. Awesome. So transitioning over to uh, you two. Um, so you make your way down a few kind of dark alleys and, and hidden away places, and you find... Hoping somebody the, mugs me. Oh, yeah, <laughs> hoping for a brawl. You're, you're ready to get into a fight. Um, and because of that, no one is getting anywhere near you. Um, you're punching at walls, and yeah... <laughs> Uh, as you come up to the lost key, uh, you pop the door open, kind of enter. There's absolutely nobody, just like always in this. And um, you go up to the bar and you... S- oh, no. Sorry. You okay? <laughs> Sorry, strangers. Um, you go up to the bar. Um, and you see Mika, um, one of your old contacts from... Uh, from years now to um, any kind of contract that the mini ministry is not approving of, um, she gives those to you, and that's the the way you essentially make gold to stay in the guild. Um, yeah, so Mika's there. She is uh, just working behind the the bar and doing her bartending thing. What do you do? Uh, I walk up, slam down into a stool. Mika, <laughs> Rook, why? What god created squirrels? Do you know? I know uh, you probably Mieliki. Yeah, you spent some time in one of those churches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how do I petition her? Uh huh. To get rid of squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's possible, my dear. Well, barring that, do you have anything else? Um, I actually do. I don't. I'm not too sure about it, though. Look, 
Um, it pays a lot of gold. It How much are we talking? Uh, about 500 gold. All uh, right. But the re- there's a reason why the ministry didn't take the contract. I, I, I don't know what that is, but it, it just doesn't seem right. So and whereabouts are we talking? Uh, it's going to be near... It's going to be near uh, Bulmar. Okay. Um, uh, it's kind of closer in the, into the city. Um, and so there's a gambling ring in Bulmar. Uh, and I guess one of the gentlemen had uh, a lot of debt with uh, this gambling ring, so they took him hostage. And it's actually his wife that's putting up the contract. Um, his wife has 500 gold to spare for her husband. That's... Who- owes enough money to a gambling ring to get captured? That's why it's odd. Um, I think she might have someone else who's paying it, but I don't know. I don't know all parties involved. That's all I have, though, for you. Uh, take it or leave it. Uh, any contact? Um, I yeah, I have a gentleman that can contact you when you're in uh, Bulmar. Bulmar. Yeah. But uh, no name. Uh, look for... Look for Hugh, uh, and yeah, he'll he'll help you stake out the place and find the best way to get him back. Um, obviously, less bloodshed the pos- possible. Uh, well, you the know lowest, me. The lowest footprint you have in this contract, the better. But you know me. Subtlety has always been uh, my top priority. Always, and I'll work on those squirrels for you. I'm just saying there should be a system to have a god unmake yeah. something that doesn't work. I don't think most gods work <laughs> like that, but I'll, I'll what do What is the research. point of clerics? I'll do research. What is the point? <laughs> I don't understand. They talk to the gods, right? Yeah. They, so they, why can't they ask these things? There should at least be, like, I don't know, a letter system? Something. <laughs> I mean, I, I believe that's what prayer is. All right. How do I pray to this Maliki? Does she have a temple in town? Uh, she probably does. Uh, I mean... Uh, in the temple district, but uh, your guess is as good as mine. Do you think there's were squirrels? Oh, that would be very frightening to think if there were. I'd yeah, really I would like to meet a I would be right careful now. with those squirrels then if there are were squirrels. Anyway, uh, Bullmore, Q, Gambling Ring, probably a trap and or more to it than necessary. Uh, regardless, uh, thanks, Mika. Uh, always a pleasure. Yeah, same here. Uh, do you need me to buy something? Here. He just kind of puts a gold oh. coin on the table. Just, <laughs> just, I bought something. Oh, thanks um, for your service. Yeah. Um, bye-bye. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, and like I said, I'll try and take the job, but guild contracts always come first. So if I'm not going that way, I'm not going that way. Yeah, I understand. And it's it's an open contract. So whoever brings the man back here um, gets gets the reward, I guess. Okay. Mika, do you got kids? I don't, yeah. I don't have those little monsters. Mm. If I did, I imagine I'd position a, a god of some kind to take those away, like your squirrels. That's not funny, Mika. Oh. Children are the future. They, yes. And Name one thing a squirrel has done, but children go on to be great wizards. Name one thing a child has done. Uh, the bishop burned down that den of thieves that one time. Yes. That was on accident, He also mind burned you. down all of the houses on the block. Well, no one died. <laughs> that time, yes. <laughs> Regardless, I- I'm going to go, Mika. All right. Uh, you know how to get a hold of me if you get any updates on that. Uh, yeah, I'll have my man Hugh uh, contact you uh, in the city. If I mean, if there's if anything make else. It. Oh, yes, yes. Maybe something local. A little bit better than this, yes. Yeah. All right, so I head back to the. What are you home. doing while this process is happening? I'm just listening and watching Rook. Uh, are you in the bar? Uh, was there near like a window or anything? Yeah. Okay. So he is the only patron in the mm-hmm. bar. You did not hear him come in, but as you're leaving, you see him sitting down at one of the tables. Hey, Rook. Hi, Dash. How's it going? Uh, it's going great. Cool. Want to walk back together? Sure. All right. 
just so you know, you can just say, hey, Rook, I'm coming. I'm not going to grapple your face again. That was one time I thought you had attacked my daughter. I mean, technically, I did attack your daughter. Yes, but with her consent. And to be honest, in most situations, your life was probably more in danger than hers. So I understand. I overreacted that one time. You're new to the group. You can ask anyone in the guild hall. I've probably shoved their face into the ground at least once. Okay. It's nothing personal. It's just business. Or is it personal business? Gimbal will know the answer to that. Anyway, there's a job in uh, Bullmore. It seems fishy, though. I mean, why not go and at least check it out? Oh, yeah. You'll be checking it out for sure. If you're able to sneak into this bar without me noticing, you'll be able to sneak up on this hue without him noticing. Okay. How do you sneak so well with those janky legs of yours? They're always, like, twitching. Practice. I mean, the the, the twitching kind of helps sometimes, but, you know. Anyway, let's get back. I should let Gimbal know that we have something else, see what they picked up, yell at Bishop some more. Yeah. All right. <laughs> As you... Enter back into the guild hall. What are you guys doing? I would rush up to Rook with the paper. <laughs> we are going to Bullmore! My room, now. <laughs> it's paid this time. My room, now. I follow and stand outside the door. <laughs> hey, Dream Ray, can you do me a favor? I'm still wearing that Scorch March is Of course. Kind of come back. Uh, but it disappears after a while. I'm, like, I'm going to need uh, jerky and uh, rashers and bacon for the trip. Can you go grab that for me? I will after I eavesdrop on you and gimbal. <laughs> Actually, if you could do it now before it all sells out, because the A ranks also got jobs today. Okay. And remember, less fat this time. We're trying to feed ourselves, not feed an army. Fat, okay. <laughs> right, you close listen the in. door. <laughs> Eventually go listen in. Okay. Make a stealth roll. Might not bad. Okay. <laughs> Gimbal too. I mean, I don't know if I would actually care if you he was there. I was a yeah. 22. <laughs> okay. You definitely know he's listening. <laughs> I'm leaning against the door. Oops. <laughs> uh, Bishop. Uh, I will remind you that I have taken care of you this long. I can still pound you into the ground so hard that your horns become, I don't know, trees? or Just stop listening and go to your room. <laughs> I'll try to make a deception. I'll just like, walk away. Okay. I, I, make a, I, like, do, like, a, make a performance roll. check. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> that is um, 25. <laughs> I can't beat that. No. <laughs> you think you lost. Yeah, even if I got a nat 20, it would only be a 21 for that. <laughs> you said Bullmore? Yes. And it paid this time. It's five gold. Mika had a job in Bullmore, too. But it's fishy. It's strange. This one is admittedly also a bit strange, but I just figured it was Muzo trying to fuck with us. Uh, yeah. Uh, well... So, some guy with a bunch of gambling debt uh, is being held captive somewhere in Bullmore, and his wife put up a 500 gold uh, bounty to get him back. In There's 500 gold in Bullmore? I've, I've never been. Have you been to Bullmore? I don't know, but it's kind of far out there. You've been to Bullmore. Um, it is kind of one horse town. Yeah. Uh, there's a few farms on the outskirts. It's very rural. Um It's not somewhere you go, it's somewhere you pass through. Well, I guess we just keep on, and if we find the guy, 500 gold is 500 gold. This one is also on the side of Fishy. Um, I guess there's a wolf that's messing with a farmer's crops. Not his sheep, but his crops. Wolves don't eat crops. I'm aware of that. I double-checked the books. I mean, they're omnivores, but they don't usually do that kind of thing. Like digging them up? I don't know. It just says messing with them, so it looks like it's some sort of digging. He's kind of uprooting everything that he has, but it doesn't still make any sense. Uh, get to your books. Look up everything that can turn into a wolf, looks like a wolf, wolf-related, 
cross-reference maybe gambling. Maybe there's some kind of magic goblin that turns into a wolf and likes money. Like the Zorn. Yeah, but the Zorn didn't turn into a wolf. That is true, but we can find out if a Zorn can turn into a wolf. And Gimbal kind of like hops him down, is super excited about his research, and runs out of the room. Uh, so I open the door, look straight at Bishop. If you have time to be listening, you have time to be packing. I'm already packed. Are you? Should we go to your room and look at your pack? Yes. All right. I only have belongings of one pack. It stays in there. You go in his room, look through his pack, and he has a ton of beef jerky and like one extra set of clothes. There's no torches in here. There's no water skin. What are you going to drink? What if we don't have a river on the way, Bishop? You're the strong man. You carry all Change the of clothes. We want to smell you the entire time. That's hmm? what message of is for. Watch this. I kind of pulled up one of something. Just because you magically clean your underwear doesn't mean you should keep wearing the same underwear. Are it's going clean? to wear out on you. Do you have mending? Pretty soon. Oh, yeah, yeah. But guess what? Gimbal? He can't spend. It doesn't matter what Gimbal has. What if you get separated from the group and you're raised by wolves? Would you not appreciate them either? Well, I'd be raised by wolves. I wouldn't really need clothing. Just bag. repack your bag. Take out a handful. Put in one more pack of clothes. As I'm leaving. And Bishop. I love you, kiddo. I know. And for the record, I don't like it. But you are probably ready to take the advancement. I just would rather you stay out of danger a little bit longer. If you're taking the advancement, that just means we're taking harder things anyway. Yes, but only two of us need to be higher rank in order to take those missions. We still get stuff or a bunch of crap from Muzo, though. We we're going to get crap from Muzo regardless because Muzo is a lizard-faced piece of... Check over his shoulder. <laughs> You know what I mean. Yes. Gimbal walking past with a book in his arms. Dragon-faced. <laughs> Dragons are kind of lizards, right? Is, Is that, that racist? A little. It's a little racist. <laughs> uh, Dash, I'm assuming you're skulking around listening to this conversation somewhere? No. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, we're going to be shipping out uh, as soon as Gimbal finishes his I know, his I'm research. already packed. All right. Uh, then I go look for Dream. Dream? I'm behind you. Ah! <laughs> Dream, we have talked about this. You either sleep at night or not sneak up behind people. You can't do two creepy little girl things at the same time. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're welcome. I, I love you, sweetie. Okay? I don't. I don't want you to think that... This is a judgment of any kind. I know you had a rough coming up. I understand all of that. Are you packed? I'm doing my best to absorb normal humanoid behavior. Yeah, and you're doing a great job, sweetie. I don't want you to think that you're not. Okay. I am packed, yes. Okay. And I have the bacon. How about this? I picked the fat off. Is that okay? Oh, we want some of the fat. Yes, it's fine, sweetie. Yeah. I mean, I ate it already, but okay. (laughs) (laughs) Uh... I hand that over to Bishop. Pack this. Don't eat I, it, apparently. I take out an extra pair of clothes. I put it just stuff in there. <laughs> uh, well, how There's about no this? Room. We have some time before Gimbal finishes his research. You want to head down to the Fountain Square, and I'll explain what people are doing? Yes, I enjoy that, our time together. Come on. I love you. I know. Don't burn anything down while we're gone. You know what? Better yet, you're done packing, right? Well, you have to stuff all the bacon back in my pack, so I'll be down in two minutes. You said the fountain? Yeah. Meet us there. Dash, if if I find you at the fountain and you weren't visibly walking behind me, we will have a problem. Understood? Yeah. He says from the door right next to (laughs) me. Open a little bit. (laughs) Gimbal, we're heading to the fountain to do people watching. Send Dash if you need me. Uh, he's not here? He's probably under your bed. Oh. <laughs> oh uh, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, do I as, find anything besides... Yeah. As you guys head to the fountain, um, roll an investigation check. Um, roll better than that. 13. Can I do athletics? 
that help? Yeah, roll with thugs. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just going to suplex the information out of the books. <laughs> <laughs> you know that druids can turn into wolves. You know that spells like polymorph can turn mm-hmm. people into wolves. Uh, you know there's werewolves out there, but they don't really have the appearance of a wolf. It's more like a, a like wolf-human a- hybrid. Um, unless, like, works. whoever is at the farm is mistaken, you really can't find anything of why a wolf would disturb a farm like that. Okay. Um, and why a wolf wouldn't be in a pack, either, um, okay. if it's a, a lone wolf or anything like that. Okay. Um, you, you don't find anything. Okay. Uh, as soon as I'm ready, I will try to, like, take notes on whatever I've read and put it mm-hmm. in my secondary book, and I'll put that in my bag. Okay. And probably rush off to try to find to wherever they've gone. Yeah, okay. And then you did do some research on the town as well. Bullmore. Um, Bullhor- yeah. Bullmore. And you, it's two days travel uh, by foot. Um, most of it can be done on the King's Road, but some of it you have to cross through the forest to get to. Um, but yeah. Nothing super Noth- abnormal. Nothing super weird. Okay. Nothing has happened um, in the past that's major in Bullmore. Um, they just kind of offer um, some of the grain and some of the, uh, the farmland for... Uh, Osrin, so I'll make little like notes of fun facts about the trip, like when it was founded and by who, mm-hmm. and that like population today as the last census is. I can spell yeah. those out as we go. Okay, awesome. Yeah, you guys head to the fountain. Um, so it is probably midday, uh, around like twelve thirty or so now. Um, what's your plan? Uh, I mean, as soon as Gimbal's done, uh, he's supposed to send Dash to come get us, and then we're just gonna. Cool. You're going to skedaddle yeah. right from here? Okay. I mean, if we can get a half day's travel in, we get a half day's travel in. Yeah. No point waiting till tomorrow. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, so I go get Rook. Okay. How are you getting him? Um, travel to the fountain. What are you saying, Gil? Um, um, <laughs> hang on. As you walk up. So you see, she is angry at him because he had a sleepover with a different woman. And that's not allowed because they entered into a contract stating that they would only have sleepovers with each other. Why didn't he invite her to the sleepover? Because sleepovers between adults are very personal and... We have sleepovers (laughs) all the time. I mean, I don't sleep, but... Different kinds of sleepovers. How would you know? I kind of back off as I come <laughs> up. Ah, Dash, is he done? Yeah. You find anything? Um, oh, are you with him? Yeah. Ah, Gimbal. Uh, I guess we can head out. Uh, Rook, she knows what intercourse is. No, she doesn't. I have heard that word before. See? I back off a little more. <laughs> <laughs> They're angry about intercourse, it has not to just do with the sleepover. G- it has to do with genitals. Yes. So they've made a pact. All right. Only- so do we need horses? <laughs> <laughs> It's two days by foot, so if you wanted to try to save the money, we could go without. No, yeah, well, yeah, might as well. Yeah, last time we rented horses anyway, it was a whole big debacle. I would just like to say that nobody told me that they had to be tied up. <laughs> <laughs> I have that problem a lot, where people don't tell me things, and I disappoint them. Hey, uh, hey Gimbal, what's uh, rule number 67? Tie up the horses. Why is that a rule? Because if you don't tie them up, they wander off in the night and oftentimes get eaten by larger animals. Yes. So, in the future, when we get horses... Yes. We will do... Rule 67. Yes. Tie them up. Okay. Uh, we're going to walk this time, mm-hmm. because I don't have the gold to waste on dragon food. <laughs> All right, so you guys, are you going back to the guild hall, or are you heading out Oh, no, here? if I see Muzo right now, I'm going to punch okay. him through his face, so we need to just leave town. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you actually meet up with another band that are going in the same direction as you guys for uh, about a half a day to a day travel, and then you'll, you'll branch off from there. Okay. Um, you do see uh, a group that call themselves by the Hollow Knights. Uh, they are... Uh, D ranked? No, they're a, a D ranked party uh, at the guild. Um, it is a uh, gnome half. Sorry, a gnome bard, uh, and then uh, an elf, a genasi, uh, an air genasi, and a fire genasi. Uh, Hollow knights, right? Yes. Uh, gnome. 
Coriander, right? Ah, you're the one. Oh, I thought it was Cookie that did it, but thank you very much. Uh, just so you know, Cookie just can't smell or taste anything. Oh. So if there's a spice in your food, I added it. Got it. <laughs> I appreciate that. How'd you yeah. know I liked coriander? Uh, just pay attention. Oh, it's fantastic. I also have my own gnome. <laughs> I do not belong to another human being, but I am a member of the party. <laughs> You didn't read that contract very well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where are you going? Uh, uh, what is it again? Bullmore. Yeah. Bullmore. Bullhorn. Fa- Bullhorn? Bullmore. Bullmore. Fantastic. More bulls. More bulls. Uh, we'll, we'll travel with you if that's all right. Maybe camp out for the night. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, you know, I got the the, the kids and, you know, bishops always you getting up to stuff. push away another gnome, would you? Never. Yeah, perfect. See, fourth this cousin. Is this is your fourth cousin. Fourth cousin. What does that mean again? Um, in this context, it is my great bishop. Great start. Uh, Rook grandma- starts walking as he starts <laughs> explaining that. <laughs> Everyone else starts walking, but uh, Roman, the the gnome, stays behind. Uh, so is it? Aunt Linda that uh, we're both related to, or... Aunt Linda's grandmother. Oh, okay. Susie, I yes. think... Yes. Okay, how is she doing? Have you have you heard from her? Gnomes! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know, the more bull things is a common misconception. Bullmore has actually have never played home to bulls. <laughs> uh, uh, so we travel for the rest of the day, hopefully uneventfully. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you travel for the rest of the day <laughs> uneventfully. Um, uh, this is the King's Road, so there aren't very many encounters here. If you're paying attention, kids, you always don't say what I just said, so he forgets about the encounter roll. <laughs> Almost <laughs> forgot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and then uh, as night falls, uh, what are you guys doing for camp? Uh, so we'll set up a uh, tent for me, Gimbal, Bishop, uh, Dash, I'm assuming you want your own tent. Yeah. And then we won't set up a tent for Dream. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to probably walk the perimeter overnight. Okay. I'll get started on cooking. Do you want me to make a roll? Sure. Would that um, be charisma, wisdom, or int? I have culinary's tools, so I have proficiency. But I want to say it would be dexterity. Okay. It's fine with me. As a cook, I agree with this. <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh, that's going to be 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah. Uh, you make a halfway decent uh, risotto for dinner. Risotto? <laughs> <laughs> not the bar I was shooting for. <laughs> um, a little bacon bit of bacon risotto. in there, yeah. <laughs> You're frustrated that there's no fat on the bacon, but yeah, what are you going to do? I actually asked Roman if his party brought any bacon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fresh out of bacon. Uh, yeah. What do you got cooking over there? We just have some uh, pre-packaged meals. You got it smells smells pretty good. It does. You got any coriander in that? Of course. <laughs> oh, um, just in his place. You wouldn't yeah, yeah, leave same. a fellow gnome out hungry. Roman, you? are you are you wanting food? Yes, please. Very okay, much. just sit down. <laughs> what about <laughs> your nicely? He loves feeding people. What What about your fire? Don't don't worry about them. Uh, uh, Gertrude probably will. Gertrude, come on over. Um, Gertrude is a, a the the taller elf, taller slender elf that comes over. Um, no visible armor or weapons that you see. All of these guys are are, are equipped for battle, uh, right? So at, at a moment's notice, no discernible armor on her. Um, no hidden weapons. She just kind of stalks over. Rook doesn't find that odd because he wears a bowler hat and a vest yeah. in the battle. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, she sits down right next to him. The other two are kind of in the corner setting up camp. Do I know ball. Gertrude? You would know all of them in passing. Yeah, uh, probably not like uh, specifically, but. Uh, uh, I them to Bluefield. I traveled to Bluefield then last time. No, that never happened. Oh, that never happened. Only. <laughs> Brett Con. What's Bluefield? And waving. No <laughs> yeah. Remove that. You do that. <laughs> For you two. <laughs> it's just like a weird jump cut between the two. <laughs> um, I'm like this, and then I'm like that. <laughs> so, those of you who are actually watching the stream, like all nine of you, uh, that didn't happen. Um, 
so I kind of like kind of skimp us on portions, uh, but uh, kind of like motion for you to get some bread or something mm-hmm. out of like our first day rations. Sure. Uh, so it looks like I did this on mm-hmm. purpose. <laughs> and then kind of like serve up He that. brings over for his part and he uh, kind of hands out ale uh, from a, like a little cask that he has like on the backpack attached to it. Mm-hmm. Um, and just hands out uh, cups of ale to everybody who's around the campfire and eating. I politely take bishops and... Mm-hmm. I didn't reach for it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, put it next to me and then don't drink either because yeah. I don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> What is everyone else doing? Is everyone uh, at the campfire? I'm going to go up eating? and talk to the Genastes. Okay. See, like, so what are you all doing? Who are you talking to? Are you I'm going to stick with the, the fire, Genasi, because since I have to deal with fire exploding off of me at the time. Yeah. Uh, can I help you? <laughs> yeah, is, uh, does it hurt to be on fire in this one? Uh, common misconception. No, it does not hurt. Yeah. Would you like control the flames? Or can't you, here, just let me show you. I got a question, and I cast a spell and just make it. Okay. Um, yes, uh, we learned to control that uh, at a very young age, uh, us Genasi. Uh, it's, it's a part of us. Uh, it seems it's a part of you as well. But I'm not a Genasi, is the weird part. Yeah, it's very weird. Uh, most Genasi don't have horns, so. Yeah. Uh, I will maybe be able to help you in the future uh, see if we can control it uh, maybe when we're off of this contract come for me and, and maybe we can do some lessons yeah, well, I'll go over there I'm just going to see if I can do what I can on my own okay. and then I'll just kind of go off after eating go mm. outside and hit a tree with frost a uh, ray of frost and mm-hmm. try not to as you keep uh, hit it one after the other you, you just feel the fire build up, 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 up until it lashes out again you're no, you're in an open area, yeah. not around trees. So you, you know, it's far by this, at this point, you know. Um, cool. Around the campfire. Uh, what are your observations of intercourse? <laughs> um, uh, gnomes uh, actually it's very pleasure, uh, very rude, very rude to talk about. Uh, uh, so we not don't at all. This is interesting. This is the first time I've heard about it being pleasure. I was once with a half orc. Um, it was a big climbing job, but hey, Roman, we got yes. How do you feel about nightshade and uh, uh, not arsenic? Good. Is oh. that in your future? Oh. I'm not saying that, but that's my daughter. It, it's very bad. <laughs> Intercourse is very. Don't do it. Is Rook's that better? threatening the bard because he doesn't want you to know about these things? Gimbal. How are you doing? <laughs> are you not able to have intercourse? Is that why? Yes. Is that why, Rook? You don't want to talk about it? They have potions for that. No. I, I got two kids to raise. I don't have time for any of that nonsense. <laughs> I'll explain nonsense. some things. It's a life without time. What's that, Twitchy? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Great risotto, Rook. <laughs> Fantastic. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know much about you. We're in the same guild. Tell me about yourselves. So, I say, you see, you call both of them your children, but I don't see the resemblance. <laughs> adopted. <laughs> oh, adopted. And would that be yes, the same? Yes, both of them are adopted. Ah. Yes. I grew up in a cult, and my entire family died. Oh, Okay. It was very I'll unfortunate. Message, be like, That's all you're gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Sorry. <laughs> what cult was it? Uh, it was run by a nightmare king. Oh. I know. I never learned his name. That's fantastic. Don't say uh, anymore. It really wasn't fantastic. No. It was quite horrible. Oh, don't do it. Gimbal, uh, let's talk about you for a second. Uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm actually from the city. Oh, uh, what do you do? What did what did you grow up? Uh, what are your hobbies? Well, uh, have you ever heard of? Well, wait, we have some family in common. Yes, um, but you know, I mean, I started at the bookstore with my parents. Oh, that's right. The the, the scroll makers. Raw Norris scroll scripts and scribbles. Oh, okay, very nice, very yes. nice. Um, how did they let you leave? Um, well, they're incredibly supportive, and they okay. think that I'm going to make an excellent wizard. Uh, they just assume that I'm going to come back to the store afterwards. Uh, are you going to come back to the store? Absolutely not. Okay. 
I'm good an adventurer. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I feel the only way I got away from my family is was they were all killed by goblins. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That sounds horrible. Dash, uh, mm-hmm. what brings you to the guild? Um, I was passing through town and heard there was a guild and was kind of bored and figured I'd check it out and just kind of fell in with Rick and oh. everyone. Where do you come from? Um, I don't remember what the name of the village is, actually. Oh. Why did you leave your village? Uh, I got kicked out. Why did you get kicked out? Hey, Roman. Yes, uh, I'm not a gnome. Uh, but you know, like in Oregon... You'd be a very big gnome. (laughs) Yes. Uh, you know how in... That's way beyond the upper bounds of what I've ever even seen in recorded history for gnomes. The biggest I've seen was four foot five. He you was a know, giant. Uncle Richard is Richard, 88 pounds. 88 <laughs> pounds? I know. Largest gnome I've ever seen. Wow. Not is that he tall, though. wider than he is tall. Uh, at this point, probably. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, you remember how we, during orientation they talk about how everyone has a story within the yeah. guild. And, you know, uh, the uh, fairer races aside... Sometimes they like to keep things to themselves, and it, yes. it might be rude to, like, poke and prod into, you know. Uh, so I just was wondering. Uh, my story? Okay, yes, very nice. I'll tell my story. So, I came from a little hamlet outside of the city. Um, I uh, worked as a cobbler for my father for many, many years. Um, and then Look the at how low the happens, fire is getting. Oh. Don't stop. They'll tell me the rest later. Perfect, yes. Uh, me and... Uh, Dash are gonna go get wood. I uh, like the Bishop. fire with electricity. That make the fire larger with electricity. Looks fine to me. That's great, but that won't last forever. You stay and tell me all about this. Come on, let's get up. <laughs> <laughs> then the goblins uh, raids happened, oh no. and and then we'll switch. To Gibble's just enthralled. <laughs> <laughs> Super into the story. Thank you. You're welcome. <sighs> See, I'm not that bad. I know. You just scare me. Why? Oh, yeah, I do have a do temper. Do we need to revisit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Smash? Well, you understand the situation, right? No, I get I it. come I out into it. the training yard. My daughter's screaming. She's on the ground. You're standing over her, training sword in hand, which, from the distance I was at, didn't look like a training sword. Valid. I probably should, like, paint, paint it, like, bright green or something so it looks different. Or just run everything by me before you do it, even if it involves my kids. I mean, that works, too. Sure. Yeah. No. Valid. Yeah. Anyway, someday we do probably need to talk about where the hell you come from. Someday. I'm cool. I'm not going to pry any farther than that. I'm just so out of it. You know, like Bishop 17, he's trying to rise up in the ranks within the Adventurers Guild. I wouldn't even let him join the guild until like a year ago. When he stopped bed firing. Yeah, but, I mean, he's powerful. And it's not like he's not trying. I mean, you gotta give him some credit for at least trying to oh, you practice have, in control. You should have seen me when Dreamwraith asked for her own apartment in town. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I didn't that'd be a little... sleep for weeks. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, at least you know what she feels like now. Well, <laughs> that's kind of personal, buddy. I mean... She's got some stuff going on. It's a little I'm just saying she doesn't sleep. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you heard what she said. She's got, like, some kind of dream demon trying to oh, hunt I her down. I, I, I know. Thank God she has the magical ability to stay awake. Imagine if you had to deal with it. Oh, that's right. Elves don't sleep either. Why are you being so judgmental of my dog? Do- <clears throat> I'm not being... Sorry. 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 <laughs> Brooke, do you need a hug or something? Like nah, It's just been the week from hell, man. You know, Muzo's on us constantly. Yeah, we can't geez. get a paying job to save our lives. We got guild dues coming up. There's a magistrate coming down, and I have a tiefling kid who can barely contain his powers, and then Dream Wraith, who tells everyone that she was raised by a cult. <laughs> so, <laughs> on the subject of money, I know that one thing that Mika mentioned seems shady, but 500 gold. Oh, don't worry. If it checks out, I mean, we are going to collect that 500 gold, but... Just know that we're doing that against guild rules and regulations. So that's even the kids. I let Gimbal know, but 
You gotta keep it on the low low. That's, Don't tell Dream Wraith. Uh, trust me, that's the <laughs> farthest thing from my mind. <laughs> Not because she can't be trusted, just because she doesn't understand lying. I fully <laughs> understand. Anyway, the gnome might be done by now. We'll get within earshot and see. God's hope. Then they all died, the shop burned down, and now I'm here. Wow. Yeah. That's so what interesting. What a wild ride. It was fantastic. Uh, I'll tell you guys later. I know you, yeah, you missed yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the best part of it. You really we'll, did. Yeah. We'll catch up later. I wrote we, most of it down. We, we come back with no wood. <laughs> <laughs> I have like a twig in my head. <laughs> throw it on the fire. Why do you have no wood? Uh, we couldn't find any. Uh, n- all the wood is being used by centaurs to make it's that time furniture. Of I've always wanted to meet a centaur. Ah, uh, did they you all, see any? They're all asleep, so no. we don't want to disturb them. You know how grumpy centaurs can be. I better make sure they wake up okay in the morning, though. <laughs> That's really quite amazing. Yeah. Because I read... I don't think there are centaurs in this woods. Hey! I'll message you. I saw one. There was one... I throw a pebble at you. (laughs) (laughs) He didn't message us. No, I didn't. I didn't message us. Anyway! uh, Look at where that... Oh, oh, yes. Look at where that moon is. I'll message you. He doesn't want Dream Wraith to know. Hey, what does that mean that the moon is hanging so low this time of night? I think. That, did you hit your head while you were out? Are you all right? You know what? I should lay down. Let's go lay down. <laughs> that sounds you know, like a we should idea. really turn in. Having a fire going this late at night. Yeah, if you have so. a concussion, we really should monitor your uh, wakefulness at this point. I mean, you really can't turn in. We should just. We can talk by the fire Gibber. until you're. Fe- Rhododendron. <laughs> all right. Maybe it's time to turn in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> uh, don't As worry, Dream Wraith will take the first watch. Oh, perfect! We'll uh, wake it we when it's sleep. your team's turn. All right. Um, As they all shuffle off to their respective tents, are you guys doing anything before settling down? I are you still practicing? After finishing practicing, I'm gonna put a cot, like a little my own bed mat, next to the tent, not inside it, because like a little unstable after practice, so. That's not. I have a little pillow that I carry with me, and I set it out for Philip. Um, Philip is my familiar, who is an owl, so I kind of set that next to my own bedroll so that he could settle in. I go out and move Bishop's bedroll away from the dry grass he set it up there, <laughs> and move it closer to the cleared out fire area. I'm currently in it, and I'm like, there was. It was just dirt. <laughs> I had it handled. <laughs> Dash, what are you doing, bud? Um, Where are you sleeping? Uh, I sit at my own tent. Okay. Um, probably, I don't know, maybe 20 feet away from Rook and everyone's tents. Um, and I'll probably, I'll sleep for the, or I'll do my trance for the first half, and then when it's everyone, the other people's turn, I'll probably stay awake for that. Oh, you would know that we don't wake them up. We just let Dream do it, but that way no one realizes that Dream didn't sleep. So you guys like switch out. Oh, valid. That's what we've done in the past. Okay. On my first uh, walk around the perimeter, I'm going to cast alarm. Um, what are you alarming? Just the perimeter okay. to make sure if any, you know, if I don't see. Are you making somebody. an audible um, uh, alarm, or is it something that's going to be in your mind? Um, I think it'll just be in my just, mind. Just you? Okay. Yeah. Got it. Um, and so I just trace kind of a circle with my staff, ringing a bell, humming a creepy lullaby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so 23. <laughs> <laughs> what did you roll? 23. Okay. Um, awesome. So you all settle down for the night. You're taking the watch. Um, go ahead and make a perception on the first watch. Fourteen. Fourteen? Okay. Um, nothing happens during this watch. Uh, so you see a few squirrels scutter around the trees, but nothing <laughs> major. Um, watch it's, it's weird. You, you feel like they're the same squirrels from the guild hall, but you can't be sure. They're <laughs> Don't do this. 
Mark, I'm serious. Uh, make another. <laughs> I'm DMing next week. <laughs> Just remember that. <laughs> make another perception roll for the second watch. Uh, can I make 13. one for that watch too? 13. What's can up? I make, can I make one for that watch too? Because I'd be up for the second Because you would one. be up for a second watch. I thought she was taking the whole watches. I know, but he's going to wake up after four hours. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, 17. 17, okay. Um, you see as Dream is walking around um, through the camp, uh, she kind of stops. And she just stays there for a few minutes. Um, Dream, you you feel like you don't have control of your body. Um, you you kind of stopped moving. You can look around still. And then something slowly takes your body to... Rook's tent and you, you go right above him and watch him for a few minutes then you kneel down take out a dagger and you slit his throat you see the blood come down everywhere off of your hands and you hear a voice it would be so easy all you have to do is ask and then you come back to your sentence or your senses of him Start screaming. <laughs> you see her stop for maybe a minute, come back, and just start screaming. I run over to her. You all are woken by her scream. I throw the tent <laughs> off of myself, off of my six foot six form, <laughs> run to her, uh, get an arm around her, pull her into myself, and then I'm looking around for what's no. set her off. Mm -hmm. No, not like this. No, no, not like this. Dream. dream wake up. Wake dream, up. Dream. Dream. Wake up. Wake up. We're awake. We're awake. Dream. Remember. I thought it was just, over. Just hum it. Just hum it out. <laughs> Gimbal, uh, could you put some tea on? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. You see the elf come out uh, from the other people's tents. Uh, is everything okay? Uh, I heard a scream. She sleepwalks. It was his turn for watch, and as she's <laughs> is everyone else around, awake? Is everyone know. okay? She had I believe everyone's fine. Is she okay? Uh, she's incredibly afraid of uh, owls, and she saw an owl in her okay. uh, original culture. There was just a lot of owl Make death. exception. <laughs> 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 uh, that's a that's no. good roll. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, 18. Owls. Oh, okay. Uh, would you like me to take the next watch? Uh, no, would you like I, me to I got sleep? it. I got it. Okay. I'm good. I would be more comfortable watching as well. I'll would you like? I can make you some tea. Uh, sure. Yeah. It never hurts, hurts to have two elves yeah. awake at the same time. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. I'm just going to take uh, Dream and lay her down, you know. Yeah, that would be for the best. Uh, Bishop, reset up the tent, please. As you, you see me standing there, I'm like, <laughs> it's just it's endures as when she screamed it. Like, they really didn't notice this. Like, ran past, but I was like, <laughs> uh, This is the first bed flame that he's had in about two weeks. I was ready to attack, and no one would have hit me. I was exploding. You can take just mine. use just mine. Use her mine. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I set up the tent. I'll just lay down in the dirt. I take Dream to kind of like walk. Uh, we saw like a stream earlier. We just go there and we sit so that we can calm down. Tell me. Tell me that story you used to tell me. Um, yeah, sure, sweetie. Uh, there was a long time ago, there was a knight, and uh, he fell in love with a princess. He was a good knight. He was, he the, was good. He was the best knight. Uh, and unfortunately, due to an evil wizard, he had to flee the castle and go down into the caves and there he found... And he was scared, but he did it, because he won. He was good. Mm -hmm. And there he found two, two children, a little boy and a little girl, and they were being hunted by a monster. And the knight did everything in his power to fight off this monster and bring those kids safely home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And from then forward, he stayed up every night and made mm -hmm. sure that they slept without any problem. And they always woke up in the morning. And they always woke up. Mm -hmm. And if they got scared, they just hummed the 
the lullaby. Mm -hmm. You okay? I thought it was over. It won't ever be over, will it? If I'm being honest with you, it might never be over. But just remember... I want to kill him. <sighs> Me too, sweetie. Thank you. Well? I think so, yes. Uh, I'm gonna need you to pretend to be asleep the rest of the night. I hate doing that. We'll okay. be in the tent. Okay. But just no lights. Okay. Come on. Tea's ready. Thank you. Hmm? Roman? It's good. Is he awake? No, he's sleeping. Oh, so she's sleeping like a baby just now. <laughs> yeah. uh, you saw that the Genasi came out for a few minutes, but uh, um, uh, Gertrude, Gertrude came back or went back and talked to him, and they went back to sleep. Uh, well, good night. We're gonna uh, hit the yeah. Good, good night. We'll we'll let you know if anything happens. Uh, did you get my bedroll? It's all set up for you. I have one. You can't sleep on the ground, Bishop. I go and grab my bedroll and I hand it to him. I lay down. And throw myself on. I don't even get in it. I lean down. I usually don't do this in front of other adventurers, but I give uh, Bishop like a kiss on the forehead and like, sleep tight. Can I snitch it real quick when he's not looking? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, as you guys are going through the next watch, um, Gertrude kind of uh, shuffles over to you. Does that no. So no. owls. Yeah, it's it's this really weird thing. I, I don't I've don't, I haven't known them very long, mm -hmm. and so I'm still you know kind of figuring it out too. But it's really weird. Like you know, whenever we're in the forest, we've got to kind of watch out, and if we see an owl, we got to kind of scare it away, okay. or you know, just like let everyone else know that there's one, so we don't let Dream go near it. I'm sitting there like. Looking at Philip. <laughs> I kind of shuffle like in front of Philip. I kind of shuffle over in front of Philip so that like she doesn't see. I forgot a wizard. The <laughs> wizard's familiar that's been traveling with you all along. Is that an owl? That's not a. We know that that's not a real owl. It's some kind of celestial no, demon, a fake creature that looks like we're an owl. We're trying to train Dream. Yeah. yeah. It's exposure. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and plus, you're supposed to be asleep. Are you, <laughs> are you explaining that it's a... I just finished yes, I'm, it's, it's, ex, it's controlled exposure. Oh, no, only if she asks about Philip. <laughs> she didn't ask oh, about Philip. she'll Phil. ask about Philip. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on. <laughs> come on, Dad. Um, <laughs> nine. An experiment you're doing. You know, and again, I, I haven't been with them that long, so I don't understand the nuances of it. But that's uh, that's how it's kind of been explained to me. Very well. Uh, I guess if we adventure together again, we'll clear the way of owls. That's probably for the best. Okay. I know it's 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 a pain. It's like rook with squirrels, like. Oh. Squirrels. What? Yeah. What? <laughs> you are a strange bunch. Do you not like ravens? Who um, likes ravens? Ravens are they're whatever. <laughs> yeah. I'm not I'm not big on rhododendron bushes. Um but you know you don't really counter those out in the wild that much. We were talking about animals, not uh, anyways, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go watch over here. Nature. You, you stick with your watch. Alright. Uh make a reception check. Nine. Nine. Okay. Nine. Again. And now the were squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> Beware the were squirrels. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I'd just like to point out to the stream that if it is were squirrels, it was my idea. <laughs> <laughs> A good DM makes you think it was your idea. <laughs> You've been Benjamin Linus. <laughs> Chris Angel. Mind Frank. Are you ready? All right. Uh, bear with me one second. My mom almost called me Christopher Angel. It was almost my name <laughs> before she changed it. 
while we wait on Mark to give you that <laughs> bit of personal knowledge about me. Um, you don't see anything uh, in, during your watch. Um, nothing that stands out okay. in the forest or anything like that. Um, and then as kind of day breaks, uh, you rouse everyone up. And, um, I mean, that would be a good stopping point if we want to stick to that 9 o'clock cutoff. I know it's a shorter one this week, but... Well, I mean, we didn't start until 7.40. Yeah, I guess that's true. Um, yeah. And then uh, this week we had to start a little bit late just because we had some technical difficulties, but we're pretty sure we got them worked out. We're going to do so, some testing before we start again yeah. next week. Um, so we should be up and running at a regular schedule with some extra little effects thrown into the videos. But thank you all so much for bearing with us and for starting a little later with us tonight. Yeah. Um, and then to end, I guess we'll come up with a uh, ending catchphrase eventually. 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 eventually.